Hello, Internet Sister Root. While I don't really use GoStream, you know, the online streaming site with many clones, to uh, watch movies and that, apparently the site's either been hacked or something other very odd has been happening with it. And if you actually want to see what it looks like, it's rather fucked. The media player, you know, the player, like for example, YouTube, just as an example, because YouTube doesn't contain those movies. Uh, here's the fucked up part. It's behind the fucking backdrop. Either the site has gotten hacked, or something else is actually happening, which is beyond our control. And nothing's played. I mean, nothing. You just get the audio played, and the freaking backdrop with the stretch. I don't know what they did to overhaul the site or whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. But they did something wrong. And I don't know who's the one that runs the site or how many developers they have and blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, and uh, sorry about the lighting. I forgot about it. Uh, they definitely got to fix something. And I will show you what it looks like. It's frustrating to say the least. Switch the screen. Go stream. Now. I'm just going to choose a movie that I actually want to see. I can get it via other means, but just see a notice. It's not going to work. That's what happens. The player is actually behind and you, you can't even pause it. Nothing's happening. So. Yeah. The site's apparently been hacked. And I don't know when they're going to fix it at all. It's frustrating to say the least. If you actually use that to watch movies. An alternative to actually paying for a service. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Because even the police do it. Even the RCMP do it. When they're not working. You know. Even the feds do it too. As I've heard about it. Nothing new. <coughs> Anyways, unless they actually fix the problem, it's just not going to work. And you're going to be stuck with just the audio. And no way of playing the video. Somebody obviously... How do I put this? Somebody obviously got the embedding backwards. Movie's supposed to be, for example, here. And instead it's... Backwards! They got it backwards. And yes, I've toyed around with embedding videos on my website and on a blog. And if I did it the wrong way, it would just show a blank page. But the audio would still play to a point after about 15 seconds of a delay. So they got something obviously wrong with the website they're using consistent on stream. That links to another service. And they got to fix that. I'm going to see if the other clones are actually working. And I will add to this video. Pausing it for now. Actually, I'm stopping it. I will add later. Okay, well, I went through a few dozen clones. And apparently, there's one that's actually working. And there's no stupid paywall or members wall, whatever the hell it is. So, okay. If, if you look around, you'll actually find the website that actually works, and you'll be able to play your video. You'll be able to uh, stream your videos for free, if you're into that stuff. Because, uh, yeah, I'm kind of into that. But only when I miss the cinemas, and I actually can't <coughs> can't bother to be uh, buying it on DVD. Sometimes I do. Sometimes when I even feel like it, because my DVD player is not hooked up. And I play it on the computer. And sometimes the uh, media player just won't play it right. I don't know why. Whatever. If you're into that, the other website will work just fine. You just gotta look it up. Anyways, cheers. Thanks for watching. Hopefully they fucking fix it. Because it's a pain in the ass. I have uh, referred my neighbors to using it. Because some of them can barely, barely afford anything. I'm not singling anyone. I'm not going to name any names. The ones that are on pensions. And, uh, you know, as high as the fucking rent is, not many, I understand, not many can actually afford it. And that's why they go for the free services. 
And I respect them for that, and it's totally their choice. I got nothing wrong with that, anyways. And I've also referred a few homeless individuals downtown and the suburbs that I've come across to those sites. I told them if one goes down, just check another out. Just avoid the ones with the paywalls. They thanked me. They actually do have smartphones because people literally just gave it to them when they had problems after they bought a new phone. They said they just stood back to recent gave it to them. So, yeah, they used them too. It's honestly shocking. But there's so many, so many, so many. And with Wi Fi redundantly available just about everywhere, every coffee shop possible. You're going to see someone almost every time, either inside or sitting outside, on that phone, streaming sports or whatever. There was one that was an extreme sports fan in my workplace, and they are asking me what was the score. So, I told them. They were living in one of the shelters close by, so. They were constantly wondering about the sports, so. <laughs> Anyways, a bit off topic, but whatever. I came across another website. Hopefully they fix that one. It sucks. Peace. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more.